So let's take a look at this um, sampling method and try to answer some questions about it. Okay, if the researcher is going to take the first five rabbits he catches and uh, assign them to the 0% uh, group, and then the next five he, he's going to go and put in the 5% group, and he's going to continue that on uh, until he fills all the groups with uh, the next batch of five rabbits that he catches. So the question is, what type of sampling technique is this? Well, in most cases, the first is he's taken the first five he can catch. So that's mostly as convenient as possible. So let's call that a convenient sample. Uh, some people even might even say it's systematic because it's the first five and the second five and so on. So perhaps, is it random? Uh, maybe it is, maybe it isn't. And if it isn't random, uh, then it sometimes produces some sort of bias. And that's really what we want to think of. So uh, in this case, I was wondering, um, maybe there's something wrong with the rabbits. Um, and that's why they're being caught first. Maybe they're a little bit slower. So uh, that could create some bi uh, bias. Obviously, an unhealthy rabbit would be first caught, and the healthiest ones would stay uncaught till later. And when you're talking about medical testing, um, health definitely has a lot to do with um, the way the results turn out. So uh, there you go for this example, a convenient sample, and considering uh, the health of the rabbits, um, there may be some bias in that method. Uh, so I hope that makes some sense, and uh, thanks for watching.